In fact, evolutionarily speaking, the cuffing months are the most fertile season, with birth rates at their highest nine months later in August and September. So if human beings had a mating season, well, this would be it. There is no such thing as casual sex. Harlem, episode 6, Talk Culture Promoted with Cuffing Season. Welcome to Manager Highlights Daily and to another Harlem episode breakdown. This was clearly one of those quota episodes. They stuffed it with gay men and that's not the issue. The issue is they stuffed it with gay men. No substance. Tell a good story. Say whatever you want about Brokeback Mountain, but from an objective perspective, it was a good story. Harlem is not telling you a good story. This whole TV series is full of quotas and it makes everything predictable, dull, and feels forced. The ladies don't look like they could actually be friends in real life. Quinn just looks out of place and the lesbian girl is part of the quota and doesn't fit well into the story of the group as a whole. The group is put together in a way that different personalities, different groups can identify with them. But that doesn't mean that they will gel and have the chemistry to give this series the glow that it needs. I have to give the camera work credit. I love the way it's shot. I love the way it's edited. I love the pace of this series and the music they use in every episode. This episode starts off with a nice track as well. Episode 6 is a filler episode. Nowadays, it's common to see filler episodes in series because they have to present 10 episodes. And if the story doesn't have much depth, 10 episodes will water down the quality. A lot of unnecessary scenes, story-wise, nothing to remember, and comedy-wise, it's not funny. But hey, I'm a man. This series has a female target audience. So for the ladies that are watching this channel, let me know what you think. To my surprise, I have to say that under the pile of bullshit, I found a gem. Helen Fisher. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Salute. The original video is going to be on Patreon because we have to respect the YouTube guidelines. That's why you will get a censored and filtered YouTube friendly version. So if you like what we do and you want to experience our content to the fullest extent, support us on Patreon. This video contains a lot of spoilers, so you've been warned. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. We men and we. Okay, I want everyone to listen to the Sex Hurts interview with anthropologist Helen Fisher and give me a three to five page response by Thursday. Stay warm. Helen Fisher, that's the gem I was talking about. She is a real anthropologist. She has done many TED Talks. She's written a lot of books. I couldn't find the interview quote unquote sex hurts. I don't think it exists, but I could find an interview where she explained that there is no such thing as casual sex. Check it out. I think that um, all three of these brain systems can interact with one another, um, and particularly when you have sex with somebody. Any kind of sexual stimulation of the genitals um, triggers the dopamine system in the brain and can push you over that threshold into falling in love with that person. And in fact, with orgasm, there's a real flood of oxytocin and vasopressin, other chemicals in the brain associated with the feeling of deep attachment. So. Casual sex is really never casual, unless you're so drunk that you can't remember it. Um, something happens. As a matter of fact, in one study of over a thousand people, um, over 50% of both men and women reported that uh, their first kiss of somebody was sort of the kiss of death. Uh, they had begun to feel quite attracted to a person sexually and romantically, and then when they kissed them, it was so horrible for them that it turned them off completely. So. Um, so casual sex is just plain old not casual. Something can happen. You can either fall madly in love with this person or uh, you can begin to feel a deep sense of attachment to them. With this information out there, why do they promote talk culture? Get my vagina ready for big season. Big what? Girl, it's like you don't live on earth. <laughs> big season is when you find a guy with a little extra for the winner. All my go-tos are already taken. With rehearsals and nanny and my ass is behind on locking down some big Baby, baby, I'm cold. Oh, is this your sister? Cold. Wait, 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 wait. You got any the brothers? You know, I'm not gonna survive the winter without that extra body for me. You should got a nice rotation going on by now. 
females are the emotional ones. Females are having more sex than men and they're doing it with Chad and Tyro. This emotional roller coaster is causing women to be train wrecks. Check this out. Number four is probably the most important one and that is that it's bad for your spiritual and emotional health. You have to understand that every person that you allow into your life eventually affects your life in some form or fashion. They will either be a good or a bad influence or they will either build you up or tear you down or they can add to your life or distract from your life. As a single woman, you have to protect your heart. That means only allowing people into your life that will help you to stay on the right path and help you to become your best self. With cuffing season, you're doing the exact opposite. You're making a decision solely made out of desperation. And a lot of times, the guy you end up seeing ends up hurting you and that can take a really big toll on your spiritual, mental and emotional well-being. So don't do this to yourself. And number five is that you will get hurt. A lot of times this information is coming too late for women. We've proven it many, 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 many times on this channel. But hey, if this behavior is promoted and the majority of people are participating in it, what are you going to do about it? I talk about the sisterhood a lot on this channel and they give you a great example of what this looks like. Oh shit, she brought the boo. Ladies, this is Jameson mm, in the flesh. Uh -huh. I told him that I was going to meet you guys here and he hadn't met you yet. And so where's Quinn? Oh, she got stuck at the store. She texted. She's on her way. Well, it's great to meet two thirds of the group. Mm -hmm. oh, whoa, 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 player. Don't get comfortable. You can't just stick it in. Mm -mm. Okay, Ty, please don't do this. No one sits until they're vetted. And when Quinn comes, she's going to do this all over again. And she will include an essay question. So get ready for that. Okay. So what is the vetting process? For starters, drop your pants. She's kidding. <laughs> that was a total joke. <laughs> Real question. Go to album. Well, I'm old school, so give me Marvin Gaye's anything. I f that. You have your own place, right? <laughs> of course. Your finances are in order? <laughs> 100%. You let her be the boss in the bedroom? <laughs> Each and every time. Just kidding. You can say it. Oh. <laughs> Y'all have me worried. The sisterhood's approval goes above everything. Women pick their boyfriends for the sisterhood. When I was in the trenches doing my research, I've noticed a pattern. Similarities in the answers women would give me to questions I would ask them. It's like they all read the same playbook or something. The majority of women only talk to other women. That's why they are shocked when they come here. The manuscript provides information that is unknown to the sisterhood. Goes against the code of the sisterhood. The look on their faces when they hear about the wall, sexual market value, avoiding single mothers, women are not special, etc. is priceless. They know it's true. It's just hard for them to accept it. Y'all are a damn mess. <laughs> so I hear this group watches uh, Weather Wives. Ooh, are you a fan? Uh, am I a fan? Listen, I was in Tampa for work and happened to be right behind Fiona at the restaurant when she told Yolanda, Today's forecast is cloudy with the chance of... It's, it's raining right martinis, <laughs> A serious question, fellas. Do you guys watch these love and hip-hop wives, basketball wives kind of shows? Because if you don't, this clip confirmed women's ideal man is a woman. Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.